Gorilla Toss famously a live album review. Let's chat about it. Hey guys, what's going on? John here from What's Spinning here. Nice to chat about this latest from Gorilla Toss, Boston based Neo Psych Band. Um, they've been at it for a few years now. They're gaining a lot of traction in the genres, and I totally understand why. And I'm gonna be honest, in their early days, uh, they were a completely different band around the time of like their gay disco album. They were, you know, bringing in elements of just sheer noise and no wave, and it just it wasn't for me. I thought that the band was trying to do a little too much, actually. It was around the time that Eraser Stargazer came around that I kind of got to what they were doing. It wasn't a perfect album, but they did start really melting my mind with their very unique sound. A very bombastic, well-produced blend of art pop and noise pop and neo-psych. But by the time GT Ultra and their last album, Twisted Crystal, came around, this, this was not just me being casual fan anymore. I had to hear everything they were doing. It was some of the most classy neo-psych out there, but it also pulled from dance punk and some new wave too. There was also some elements of space rock and video game soundtrack music and progressive pop. They were bringing a lot more together, but the more cohesive strong structures at the end of the day made me remember a lot of what they were doing more. Even their last EP, the What Would The Odd Do EP, I personally thought it was really classy and fun and showed them pushing out into some new genres. And honestly, the singles leading up to this new thing were great. I thought they were some of their best produced singles in a really long time. The production on this album as a whole is fabulous. Let's chat about this thing. The album starts off with Cannibal Capital. I've loved it since it dropped as a single. It is blaring, it is colorful, and it is really catchy. It's so full of life, like, in a weird way, and this is gonna sound so cliche, it sounds like what you would expect it to sound like by looking at the album cover. But it's all so bubbly and really cute at parts, too. It's honestly a really great sound for them, and honestly, where I hope they would be sounding. Famously Alive is really great, too. This is a much more wild and off-the-rails and chaotic track, which I wasn't expecting at first. I mean, it's upbeat and it's super bright, but I don't necessarily hate that. I actually really, really love the vocal effects too. It's simple, it could have been really cheesy, but it actually comes off really well. And I love the way that this track just kind of gets more and more out of control until it just burns itself out. Love that. Live Exponential is really great too. This beat is just so blaring. It's off kilter. It's very bulky. I don't know, in a weird way, I could just see them like putting on this bizarre show with it, like, I don't know, covered in paint, probably half naked. And while this album may be, you know, missing some of what made their last couple of products so great, um, like maybe that new wave influence, it's not near as, you know, prominent on this album. It's still pretty great. It's still Gorilla Toss. It's still a lot of fun. And I think Wild Fantasy is the best track here. This brings in that little bit of new wave nuance. I really, really needed that. It is fantastic. It is upbeat. It is fun. It is colorful. And it has so much personality. It's also just different enough to really set itself apart. It's once again where I hope they would be at for this entire album. I really do wish I could just escape into this album, but I do have a couple of tracks that just really just, they did, they just, they just don't click with me. Mermaid Airplane, I thought it was disappointing. I actually love a lot of this track. I like the sort of 80s throwback production here. That's great. But these vocals, man, they are rough. And that's not a problem that I usually have with Gorilla Toss, but they are obnoxious here. It's a real shame. I have a lot of the same problems with Pyramid Hum, but a lot worse. I love the hazy, hard to place beat that almost sounds like some like really odd vapor wave that went through Gorilla Toss production. I mean, that's great. I'd love to hear some more of that. But the ideas behind this track and just how disjointed they are, it reminds me of like their early no-wave days where I thought they were trying way too much. It's not very good, and even worse, it feels a lot longer than it actually is. Truth be told, this is not like their best work or anything, but let me tell you, Gorilla Toss has a great sound, and they are still so exciting right now. Excitable Girls is a really interesting track. I love this sort of blend of more organic instrumentals, like a strummed guitar and some more synths alongside of this quirkier production. It's really great all around. I love some of the quirkier performances around this track as well. Like some, you get some very memorable vocal performances on this track. I Got Spirit is really great too. I love how wonky and left field this is. Once again, I love the nods, the synth wave, love the vocal effects. I also just really love a chaotic, upbeat, gorilla toss track at the end of the day. But then I get to Happy Me and I start having some real issues again. Some big ones too. I love the production. It's just so bulky and 
beefy. It sounds so good. Even the vocals are fine, but this instrumental is not fine. It is so stiff that it sucks the fun out of everything that I'm having. I don't know. I don't know. It's not for me. They do, however, knock it out of the park, though, with Heathen and Me as a finale. This is one of the best tracks here. Probably my favorite deep cut. This sounds like a really old school pop jam that just has been warped and twisted by Gorilla Toss. And that's a great sound for them. Big synths that are great. Great production. Really catchy, too. I think it's a fantastic finale. Uh, Gorilla Toss still have a really great sound. And no, this may not be the album that I wanted to hear from them. I really think that they could just push themselves to the next level still, if that's possible. I think it's possible, honestly. But yeah, like I said, there's a couple of cl tracks that just like really bring down the fun that I was having. And I kind of wish that they brought on some of the more influences that showed up on Twisted Crystal and GT Ultra. That's just me, though. Gorilla Toss still have an incredible sound, and you need to hear them. Uh, I'm feeling a very strong 7 on this album, but let me know what you guys think down below. If you like the video, be sure to give us a like, give us a subscribe, and let me know down below what you would like for me to chat about in the future. And until next time, have a great day, guys.